Trying to clean up addresses can be a major pain. You could have a missing state, a missing city, or everything could just be in one long text field. I've had to deal with this too. It kind of sucks, and even if you're amazing in Excel, it can take a long time to clean up these addresses. So rather than put together another video about how to use left, right, mid, and the rest, I came up with a better solution. You don't have to be a master in Excel for this to make sense either. So let me show you what I did. So I got a sample data set from the internet. It's just a full address. The street isn't broken out, city and state aren't broken out, and neither is the zip code. Other than that though, it is pretty clean. But let me emphasize again, your data does not have to be clean for this method to work. The key to what we're doing here is the zip code. Thankfully, no matter how dirty your data is, the zip code is going to be at the end of the address. You have to have it. So all we're doing here is grabbing the zip code from this address. Once we have the zip codes, we're going to copy all of these. So we're gonna click Control Shift and down with our arrow keys, copy this over, and then paste it in the blue column here. So we're gonna paste special values. And then we're going to go to Data, Remove Duplicates, continue with the current selection. Don't worry about these green fields here, they'll all populate in a second. And then we want to come up here to Data Types in our Data Ribbon, and we want to say Geography. So we're using a set of data that Excel has so kindly tied us into. It basically allows us to mine these zip codes for all sorts of other information, like the country, the state, and the city so that we have nice clean data there. Now you can look through the rest of my columns here, but essentially I'm just making it so that you have a clean city, a clean state, and a clean country to pull from. Back in our first tab, we're now using a VLOOKUP based on the zip code to get our city, state, and country. What we're also doing is using the city and saying we want the text before the city in the full address to give us the street here. Now if you're looking at this and thinking, man, that looks great, but I don't know Excel all that well. Don't worry, I've included this exact workbook in the description below for you to download and use. All in all, this is an extremely solid and reliable system, but let me show you where it can fall down so you can fix it if you need to. So you'll notice that if we scroll down, there are some situations where we have an NA here for our street. Don't worry, we can fix this. All this is saying is that Belwa parentheses town is not found in our full address over here, which you can see it's got Belwa, but it doesn't have town in parentheses. This definitely isn't the end of the world. All we're gonna do is come back over to our reference table here, okay? And we're gonna look for zip code 53511. So let's look for that real quick. It's right here, Belwa town, and we want to clean up our town clean. So we're gonna copy this, paste the values, and then bring this back to where it's only Belwa. Now when we come back, we see that this is nice and clean. We fixed it. Anyway, that's it. There's a super reliable way to break down addresses, no matter how messy they are, as long as you have a good zip code. And if you don't have a clean zip code, well, you've got bigger problems anyway. All the same, if you have any questions about how this works or need help with something else, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. But thanks for your time.